Hello and welcome to Geekist. My name is Jamie Langdon and I love geeky stuff more than fat boys like Stan Lee. So guys, I am back. So yeah, I've been away for a few weeks because I've had no Wi-Fi and it's a pain to get to the library from here. So yeah, but look, Nui Nunes. I have a new background, new room to do geeks in, mainly because my housemates are moving in. So, yeah. Anyway, a couple of days ago, I put up on my Facebook page, which, by the way, if you haven't liked it, go forth and like my page. I put... So, guys, uh, Geekist is returning on Thursday. What would you like to talk about? And Verity Till put... Talk about Guardians of the Galaxy or the new Doctor. So... I'm going to talk about both. So, first, I'm going to talk about Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy is the latest in the in Marvel movies. And, frankly, in my opinion, it was amazing. So, yeah, like I really enjoyed it. I thought that everything was done really well and kept quite close to the comic book. So, here is our lineup. Of Guardians of the Galaxy. Is it going to change for me? Yes, it is. Here we go. Now, first off, alright, so we got our main guy. Guy in red jacket. He is Chris Pratt and he plays Peter Quill, otherwise known as Star Lord. He's sort of the main guy that we all follow around. Then we have this lovely lady, Gamora, who is played by Zoe Salma. Saldana? Right, if by any weird coincidence that people actually famous watch these videos. Um, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. And next, we have this meaty beefcake here um, called Drax. He's played by Dave Bautista. And if you're a fan of wrestling like my little sister is, you'll know who he is. But uh, I read on Facebook that it's sort of speculated that Drax actually has autism because he doesn't get things like metaphors and stuff. It's a really powerful thing. Then we have the next m muscle of the group, Groot. He says, this is not really a spoiler if you read the comics, this is all he says is, I am Groot. Um, Groot's actually one of my favourite characters just because he's so cool, he's like a plant and stuff. And finally we have this middle blokey right here, and that is Rocket Raccoon voiced by Bradley Cooper. Now. <coughs> I've read a few of the Guardians of the Galaxy comics, and they're really good. I'd, rec I'd recommend reading any of it. But, um, I'm not a mass... I wouldn't say I'm a massive fan, but I went to see this. I'm sort of really interested in reading some more. So, if you have any Guardians of the Galaxy recommendations for me, I would be very happy if you let me know in the comments, or on my Facebook page, or whatever. I read all the comments and stuff anyway. Um, pardon me. So yeah, that's Guardians of the Galaxy. I bloody loved it. It was brilliant. Right. Next, let's talk about Doctor Who. So Doctor Who's back with a new face, slightly new TARDIS, and a sexy new outfit. I like. I've been speaking to a lot of my friends, and people are thinking that the series has actually been quite weak in terms of like how it has been in the past. But when you really think about it, actually, it's not like. Uh, I was speaking to my friend Lewis, who I'm living with this year, so you'll probably see him in a few videos. Um, he, what I really like about it, and we were discussing this yesterday, is the fact that um, they're doing the same same things but differently. So, if you haven't seen the second episode, go and watch it. Spoiler alert! Now, I think the idea of going inside a Dalek and fixing it and turning it from something that had morals into something that didn't was really well done and, like, the writers did a really good job. And also, it showed the new relationship between the Doctor and Clara, which... obviously isn't the flirtatious, banterous relationship that it was when it was Matt. But that's what, sort of what I wanted. I wanted it to be, like, there's banter, but not flirting. Like, I'm not too bothered. Uh, also, Danny Pink is the new guy on the scene, Clara's new love interest. And, yeah, I think he's going to do okay. 
Sorry I didn't spend as much time talking about Doctor Who. I will do a proper review episode next week for Doctor Who. Uh, I just wanted to sort of touch on it. Um, and quickly, before I wrap this mad thing up, um, I just want to say thanks for sticking with me while I've not had Wi-Fi. And secondly, I checked out my You're a Ho video the other day to see like, how, how it was doing. It's got nearly 500 views, and to everyone that watched it, just cheers, because that's a lot of views. It's my most viewed video now. So, it is unfortunately the end of the video, and this saddens me to great depths, but I do have other things to do today. So, what I want you to do is I want you to go and like my Facebook page. If you aren't subscribed to me, subscribe to me. You get weekly videos of geek geekness. Um, yeah, don't forget to share, comment, comment telling me what um, fandoms you want me to talk about. Uh, and yeah, if you want to know what's going on, sort of, if I'm gonna, if I'm not gonna post, or if, you know, I'm doing an event or something, it'll be on my Facebook. So, if you want to find out what's going on, go to my Facebook and hit like. Just hit like, it's not hard, there's a button, tell you what, I will show you quickly before I leave. Okay, so this is my Facebook page. Ignore that. Okay, so there you get all the updates and stuff. There's that little like button. Just go and click it. Get notifications or whatever. Yeah, I'd be really grateful. So yeah, that, my compadres, is it. Stay geeky, and I'll see you next Thursday. <laughs>